So you woke up today and you wanted to create the Archimedes Spiral in Fusion, but not freehand it, actually use an equation to drive a curve. And here in October 2025, Fusion has deleted the easy button for this. There used to be equation from Curve app and looking through the app store no longer available. So I did some vibe coding with AI that I created a script that you can grab for free. I'll share that on my website. So let's run through how to create a custom script in Fusion that you can run and use when you need to. And as far as the coding is concerned, I'll share how to create an Archimedes spiral, but you can create your own once you You've gone through this video. I'm going to be showing how I do this on my Mac. I just did it on my Windows device and it's extremely similar. So I'll try to call out the differences there. Go up to utility, go to add-ins, script and add-ins. And now here's where we're going to add our new script. We'll go to the plus sign and do create script or add-in. You're going to give it a name. So I'm going to call it my curve creator. You can also give a description author. I'm just going to click create. It hasn't done much yet. Just be sure to remember the name of your script. You're going to right click on it and edit in a code editor. You will need a code editor installed on your device, on your machine. I happen to love Visual Studio Code. That's something that I use regularly. I use it on my Windows device and on the Mac. I'm going to hit edit in code editor. This should launch your code editor of choice. In this case, it's launching this default file right here for Cur Curve Creator. You can see this uh, kind of default code that's already been placed. Opening up the existing code that I have that works for creating your Archimedes spiral, I have this Python file and it actually does a nice job of explaining what it's doing. Basically, I need to set the starting radius the distance between the turns and the spiral, the total number of turns and how many points per turn. Fill in these values and then hit save. But I'm first going to bring this over into the default file that's being referenced by our script. I'm gonna copy all of it. So you can copy this from my website and bring it in. And I'm going to remove everything that's already there in that default file and paste it in. And I'm gonna go into save it. So curve creator is the name of my new script. I'll hit file, save. That updates our curve. And if I wanna draw a different curve later, I'm actually just gonna come in and modify these values. For example, making the radius larger and the turns, increasing the turns or number of turns. We're now really close. I'm gonna go up to the script and add-ins and go to our new script and hit the play button. It should give you a successful prompt showing you the values that it did. In this case, the interior radius, the increase, and the number of turns. Clicking OK, I now have a new sketch with a spline that's been created. Some final thoughts. I did use an AI to create this Python script for me in the Autodesk Fusion format. Your mileage may vary and will require maybe some testing and validation to make sure that the code is formatted correctly and has the right values. Once you do, it should be pretty easy to run and test in the script. I'm not much of a coder. I'm a mechanical engineer, but I do love using this tool. I'd love to hear back from the community. What are your thoughts? I'll see you guys in the next video.